I've been looking for something like this for a while, a decent tablet that has a lot of power, but still I can get it at a budget. And this is the Techlast P20 HD. It does a lot of things really well. Let's start the review and I'll tell you what. How are we doing my friends? I'm Rotodil and welcome to the channel. I'm basically reviewing gadgets here on YouTube. And if you are here for the first time, click on the red subscribe button down below. If you want to see more of my cool gadgets, that's all that I do here on YouTube. And I invite you to join my adventures. So definitely click on that red subscribe button down below. Today we are with the Techlast P20 HD and it's a crazy cheap tablet with a lot of power. And when I say a lot of power, I really mean it. It has a 1.6 gigahertz octa-core ARM CPU with 4G network capabilities via SIM card slot. Tablet screen is 10.1 inch and the resolution is 1920 by 1200. It's a bit higher than full HD and gets you the right experience you'd expect from any tablet. You get four gigabytes of RAM memory and 64 gigabytes of ROM storage. Initially, when you actually boot up the operating system, you'll see that around 54 gigabytes is actually available for you to use. And there's not much app that you get with it, basically all the default apps that you'd expect from any clean Android installation. So if we're doing the world's quickest unboxing, you do get the manual, you get the cable and the charger with it, and you get the tablet itself. The big thing about this tablet is the fact that you get Android 10 on it. That means that everything that you would expect to be running on Android recently runs on this tablet. And that's a big thing with cheap budget price tablets. And it's something that for me is really important because my recent apps really require the latest and race and recent uh, uh, apps from uh, Android. In the end, you get an amazing tablet here but there are some things this tablet doesn't do really well and you'd expect that when buying a cheap or a budget price tablet. The first thing is the sound quality here is not that good. You get actually two stereo sound speakers here on the bottom. They do feel like a bit too high on the highs but the lows really are non-existent so you'd probably want to connect this to a Bluetooth headset or a Bluetooth speaker or whatsoever than using the actual speakers on high volume. On decent volume it sounds just right but not something you'd say wow on. The second thing that's probably not the best with any cheap tablet is the cameras and you do get a front facing camera here on the center of the tablet and here on the back. It's decent enough for zoom meetings but not more than that so in the end I wouldn't use this as my primary camera overall but the thing that you get here is a lot of power and I actually tried that by running the recent games from Gameloft. I actually have a lot of business use for this tablet so as you can see right now even sketching and drawing with it just feel fine and uh, even if you're watching videos let's say on YouTube or Netflix it works great it's really fast that's the big feature here but one thing you want to note is that you do you don't get here the Google certification you would expect with higher priced tablets and I'm talking about four times as expensive than this and that means that on Netflix, for example, you get SD resolution video and not HD. For me, it's not that bad because on 10 inch uh, screen, you actually don't really see that difference as you can see right now. But in the end, it's something you should know that if you're buying this tablet just for watching Netflix videos, it's not going to be the best. There's better options if you invest four times more, or even uh, five times more and actually get a higher price tablet. But who knows, maybe in the future it will get a certification from Google. Currently that's the case and you'll get SD resolution uh, when actually using this device. Other than that, for me, I'm just, I'm gonna, just gonna let you know right now, I've been using and playing a lot of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So I'm gonna use this tablet while playing the game. I wanna have a secondary Google map I can use to navigate while actually flying with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So for me, this is a big thing and it gets the job done as this is really, really a fast tablet, even if my investment when buying it wasn't that large anyway. So for me, it gets the job done. It doesn't get warm like many other tablets that I've tested on the market. You do have the bezel so you can hold it like so and still um, don't touch the screen, which is uh, an important thing. YouTube works great, all the notifications works great, and it's clean. And it's also a thing here, you don't wanna get these tablets with, ton with tons of apps. It's really clean and you only install what you need on it. So all in all, a great tablet 
at the budget price, probably one of the best tablets you can buy right now uh, as from my investigation into this uh, field. Obviously, we do get a lot of connectivity features, whether it's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything is built in into this uh, system. And you also get updates. I already have one update since I opened this box. So a huge recommendations for me uh, if you want to get a tablet at the budget i'm going to put links for you with the, for where i ordered it and where for me you can get it in the description of this video below so you can check out the pricing on it all in all i'm going to put my eyes on tech last i think that if they made this probably have some cool tablets on the way after so i'm going to keep keep an eye on them and let you know if there's a cool uh, tablet coming out from this company because i really enjoyed this tablet after testing it for more than two weeks now. I'm gonna put two videos for you to watch. If you like this review, you're probably gonna like these two. I'm gonna put another video over here and the option to subscribe to the channel. So I'm gonna see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching. I was Rotodil. See you soon. Bye bye.